happens a couple of minutes from now. Uh, a little on a basketball before we take some calls. Um, thought Cleveland would win last night. Uh, wasn't a very exciting game. And LeBron had 44 points. He had a, a superb first half. He scored 22 points on just 11 shots, which is about as efficient as you can ever be. And then he had a miserable for him, okay? Now, the guy scored 44 points, but he had a miserable for him second half. He turned the ball over repeatedly. He looked tired. He didn't rebound. He didn't, he didn't get any assists, and he took 17 shots. He wound up with four, 22 points in the second half and hit a couple of big baskets. He got the steal off a turnover where he got the ball, and he hit smart in the head. That was a big basket. And then he had a wide open three that ended the game at 109.96. That, that was a big basket. He took a lot of bad shots second half. I just thought he was tired. He was walking away from the ball. He did not rebound at all. He really seemed off his game last night in the second half. And Boston was a couple of minutes away a couple of times of making a run, a real serious run at that game. A couple of seconds away at different times where they, they just got the basket. One time Love made a big hoop. A couple of times LeBron made a big hoop. One time Hill made a big hoop. So they were always able to keep him at bay. And now we go back for game five. I think the series is going seven. I hope Boston wins. Why? Because Golden State's winning it all anyway. We all know that. And I don't want to deal with Cleveland in the finals and then people complaining, you know, that you know LeBron's not winning the finals and he's going to lose another final. And You know what? Let Golden State win it. Just send a new team. Let them go at it. Let them play hard. And maybe they'll, you know, play better than we think and win a game or two. I don't think so, but it's better than having a you know a Cleveland team that just is you know is just not any good. And you know what's going to happen? LeBron's going to score forty points a game, and they're going to lose in four or five games, probably five. But then they'll have a one win at home. But other than that, you know, I don't need to see that again. And then we'll find out what the LeBron future is. I mean, he's had a huge postseason. Like I said, if a guy can score 44 points in a conference championship, play badly, he did in the second half. He really did. But, I mean, badly for him, not for, you know, mere mortals. Reggie in uh, Connecticut, Bobby V in a couple of minutes. Reggie, what's going on? Hey, Mike, I have a question. What do you think about Tanaka? Is his hmm. injury more than what they say? I, 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 I don't know how we would know. I, I, I Listen, Tanaka... Tanaka is what he is. He's a guy who gives up a lot of home runs. He's a guy who's, you know, for the second straight year is going to pitch to a high ERA. The one thing Tanaka did was he pitched great in the postseason last year. So they can live with him in the regular season. The question is, is he going to give them what he gave them last year in the postseason when he was superb in the postseason last year? And I understand that. But my thing is this. He had one good game. And then the next game, the whole team is smacking home runs on him. I was wondering if his elbow well, is what, I, I don't. I, I don't know about his elbow. You know, I got to figure if his elbow was bad, he wouldn't pitch. I mean, listen, he gives up a lot of home runs. He's he's always given up a lot of home runs, though. It's not like he's just now given up home runs. He's been giving up home runs. Listen, he's not the same pitcher he was when he first got here. We know that. We saw him when he was better, and and he's also a little bit. A little bit like the you know the little girl with the curl because he he has a habit that when he is on his game he can still have that big that big outing but they're few and far between now and the home runs aren't few and far between the home runs come fast and furious for him we know that I mean he gives up a ton of home runs we've seen it time and again he, listen he could pitch to the ERAs pitching to right now and win 15 games with this team this year that's the kind of team they have but he's already allowed. How many this year? Ten? Eleven? How many? I gotta I gotta look. How many has it been this year? Home runs. I don't have it here, but I'd say if I had a guess, I'd say ten. Probably ten this year. Oh, it should be on here. Hold on. Home runs allowed. Uh fifteen. No, no. Uh eleven. Eleven. Last year thirty five. In 2015-25. In 2016-22. Last year thirty five. This year already eleven. In 56 innings. He gives up home runs. But he can win a lot of games pitching to a, this ERA. But 
Is he going to pitch well again in the playoffs? That's really the question, because he did last year. Brad and Belmore, what's up, Brad? It, it really is a shame that Kevin Durant is on this Warriors team. I mean, the playoffs have been fantastic, and LeBron obviously is having a once-in-a-lifetime playoff run here. And um, well, he's it, had. It, I mean, it, he's, he, a, LeBron's played this well before. Yeah, this. Uh, yeah you're right, well. but it, it, it is a shame because. Well, you know, yeah, because they're the big, great young player. They're the best team. I mean, you know, you got the you got the second best player, clearly the second best player in the league in Durant, and then the next three best players, arguably without any, without any argument, the next three best players in the in the in the series are all on one team, and yeah, it, it just it, it makes it impossible. There's no way. Yeah, there's and, no and way it, Cleveland it, can beat that team. I don't. I don't know who can beat that team. Clearly, well, right now, no, right now, no one can. Houston can't beat it. I don't like Houston anyway. I mean, the Houston's comp- unfortunately comprised of a lot of people who don't well, play well in the playoffs. I mean, that's what they have. They got a lot of guys with a history of not playing well in the playoffs. Rick in Florida, what's up, Rick? Hey, Mike, how are you? Good. What's happening? You're, you're right about Tanaka. I mean, it, I mean, the way he pitched in the playoffs last year was worth was worth every penny. I mean. But, uh, hey, if you could if you could get that again this year, you'd be yeah. ecstatic. Right. You you would be yeah. very happy if you could get that again. I just don't know if you can get it again. I mean, you're gonna hope I you can, you can hope you can, but I just don't know if you can get it again. Yeah, and I, you know, Sonny Gray pitched against Kansas City. I got to see more for him. I, I don't like Sonny Gray, so I get to see uh, what's gonna happen with him. But what do you think? I don't want to. Wouldn't give up a lot for Cole Hamels. I know he's pitching tonight, but it's a money thing, perhaps. Uh, could get him. What do you think of that? If we could just get him for some money and something like that, would that be worth yes. it? Worth it? I, I, I don't even. I don't even want to take a chance on him myself. Not not what. I, not my guy. Not that I want. Not. Listen, if it's a money deal, it is not a big deal. I understand that, but they can afford to do it. I understand that, but that's not where I want to. That's not how I want to use my my chips. I want to use my chips in a better way. Sonny in Malvern, what's up, Sonny? Hey, Mike, thanks for taking the call. I appreciate it. Yeah, what's up? I got a Met question, but first, I'm really looking forward to the interview with Coach at four. I'm, I'm really dying. I'm tired of all the you know the same uh, baseball talk with the Yankees and Mets. Anyway, I never heard your thoughts about them drafting Kyle Loletta. I mean, they compared him to Jimmy Garoppolo, and you know he's a similarly you know lightning quick release, and he's a good athlete. But you think that is in the, any indication on on Webb or no? No. I think it was more just a value at the time pick. Uh, I haven't seen enough of him to tell you that I have any real opinion of him yet. I just have not seen enough of him play. Uh, either one of them. I haven't seen, obviously, e- either quarterback play a lot. Uh, you know, Webb's been a mystery, and, and now uh, the youngster, I haven't seen him. So I really, I really cannot comment. And, again, we don't know how good they are. We'll find out, we, and hopefully the, for the uh, Giants, they don't find out for three years because they'd like Eli to be healthy. And... Eli, to me, seems to be a guy who just has that it thing when it comes to being able to stay healthy and also being very youthful. He is, he plays young, he acts young, he doesn't miss games, his durability is without equal, and you just hope that continues for a couple more years. We're going to have Bobby V in a minute. We're coming to you live from the Town Fair Tire Studios, powered by Town Fair Tire. Nobody beats Town Fair Tire. Nobody.